ladies and gentlemen of all ages, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Angry Meat Production. We appreciate you coming in and letting us be a part of your lives week in and week out. We hope to do our best to present you with something that your eardrums delight in. Whether you're looking at us on YouTube or Rumble, or listening to us on Spotify, Google, or Anchor, or any of the other podcast services that we are currently on or trying to get on, we thank you. And if you don't mind, at the end of every episode, stop by, leave us a comment, leave us a like. If it asks for five stars, we'll take five stars, even if you don't like us. Five stars are what it's all about. With that being said, we hope you enjoy our attempt to make our advocation our vocation. Ladies and gentlemen, let the games begin. We here at Angry Me Production want to thank our sponsor, Mobile Notary Mindy. She's certified with the National Notary Association. She's also bonded and E&O insured. She offers a wide range of services, including wills, powers of attorney, medical documents, healthcare proxies, living wills, certification of trust, assignment of personal property, HIPAA waivers, advanced healthcare directives, and 99 verification. You can find her on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram at Mobile Notary Mindy. You can also visit her webpage at TexasMobileNotaryMindy.com. That's TX MobileNotaryMindy.com. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Welcome, Angry Faithful. Today on Nerd Sports 130, we're going to talk about. Welcome, Angry Faithful. Jesus Christ. My <laughs> we're going to talk about you, your first day back on the job after a week's vacation. Yeah, I know. Uh, we're going to talk about go kart drag racing. This is, this is, I mean, could you imagine the powerhouse they have on these go karts? It's not a six quarter engine. It's got eight wheels. <laughs> Got a little bit. I wonder those of you who were just being left, you know, hung there in suspense because David, I guess, just recently understood the concept of a cliff. Why are you messing with the windows? Because I find it fun. Uh, oh, <laughs> anyway, so the guy who went old school and had just four wheels as opposed to six, he won nine <laughs> seconds for a quarter mile. <laughs> I think it was balancing. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Ooh. Man, you ever get those sneezes where they hurt because they feel like they just kick you right in the middle of the chest? Oh, yeah. You get that all across your shoulders and your chest there. Oh. Kind of feel like you're going to. Yeah. yeah. But then for a split second, your, your nose is like, <laughs> I can breathe. <laughs> and then it slams shut again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all the mucus and everything is just kind of going, <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> right. Okay. So, um, in case you've been living under a rock, everybody's brackets got busted. Um, it's, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're down to the league championship series or series, 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 series. Yeah. The, the league championship series, series. the yellow yeah. is. For the respective leagues, um, last night was Game One uh, between Texas and Houston. This is the first time in postseason history that these two teams have met, um, let alone to play for the American League pennant. Um, so you know, Houston wheels Justin Verlander in his 18th season um, out to the mound last night, and I was like, "All right, well, it's going to be a it's going to be a long, low scoring game." Uh, Colin Montgomery for Texas was just, dude, he was just dealing last night. And then Verlander, and you know, he was issuing walks. He gave a couple <laughs> turn there. Uh, 
game one went to Texas and I mean, well played, you know, um, I know I thought that they're in the eighth inning when Geraldus Chapman came out and, uh, Jose Altuve was on first base cause he was walked. Um, that, you know, I mean, here's Geraldus Chapman facing Alex Bregman. And I'm like, all right, this is going to be an interesting at bat. Now, what version of uh, Geraldus Chapman is going to show up tonight? Is it going to be the classic Geraldus Chapman that we all come to know and love? You know, the guy that, who gives up an exit velocity of 111 miles an hour on his top end, 904 mile an hour fastball to a rookie in the, by the name of D Rafael Devers a few years ago in Yankee Stadium. Or is it the uh, Aralvis Chapman who gave up the game-tying home run in Game 7 of the World Series back in 2016 between the Cleveland Indians? Yes, I said the Indians, people, not the Guardians. I mean, come on, get with it. Guardians. And the Chicago Cubs. Um, it just kind of seems like, you know, it doesn't matter where Geraldus Chapman ends up. You know, he does, he does, does well for a couple of months, and then as soon as the postseason even starts to loom, you know, he just kind of goes out there and forgets that he knows how to pitch. He just goes out there and tries to blow it by everybody, and he either completely loses the strike zone or he's throwing it middle-middle and people are embarrassing him by parking it in the cheap seats. Um, Alex Bregman got a hold of a uh, – I think it was a one. It was a it was a two one pitch. It was a it was a fastball. It just it just hung, and uh, Alex Bregman just got up underneath it. And for all intents and purposes, it looked like it was gone. And it did have the distance, uh, just because Minute Maid Park has got these weird ass dimensions where they don't put any seats over the visitors' bullpen. Um, I mean that's an open area. That's a that's a, a, a area of the field that's in play. But you got to hand it to the rookie right, left fielder for Texas. I mean, that kid just absolutely elevated and went up there and got that ball and, and pulled it down for the outs. I mean, that that was an amazing catch. And and then to make matters worse for Houston, Jose Altuve is out there trying to do his best tattoo from Fantasy Island impression because he goes, you know, I mean, to be fair, I mean, it it, it had all the tales. All the all the all the hallmarks of of just being an absolute blast, right? Just a game tying two run home run. So he just kind of goes and comes around, right? I mean, at the very least, all right. So he knows that it's going to miss the box or whatever. At the very least, it needs to like ricochet off the wall so that way the ball's in play, right? And he goes past second base. Well, when that rookie goes up and catches it, Jose Altuve forgets how to run. <laughs> Well, it's not that he forgot how to run. Couldn't catch up to it. He forgot how to run bases. So, <laughs> so for, for those of you keeping score at home, the, the rule is, is that if you pass a base and you have to go back to your original base, which in this case was first, you have to touch the base that you uh, advanced to go back. Otherwise, you can get doubled off. And, uh Yeah. I it just it was one of those situations. El Tuve is running. He playing boss. He playing. He playing. <laughs> you know. Oh, I found it. <laughs> and, and you've got and you've got Khan sitting over there on first base, going, "Yes, tattoo. I know. You know." <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, I know the actor's name is not actually Khan, but I remember him as Khan. Yes, I know that he was the the head guy in, in Fantasy Island. Shut up. That's not what this is about. Ricardo Montal. Yes. And, and, and oddly enough, you know, everybody that like saw Star Trek two, they were like, that's a prosthetic chest that he's wearing. No, that, that was his actual chest. Yep. That was his actual chest. Dude. Homeboy was so, whoa. Like he lifted weights religiously. Yeah. And that, that scene where he picks up Walter Koenig, uh, you know, check off and when he's in his EVA suit, that was him. Like, just straight dead yeah, arm lifting him. Yep. But uh cut, that's for sure. Oh, dude. But yeah, anyway, so here, here, here's that, that video guy. real quick. Go go ahead. No, by all means, please go for it. So funny. Wait for me, I got <laughs> yeah. it was worth it <laughs> so, you know, 
Uh, he he runs, he slides, and everybody's like, "Oh, okay, yeah. great." And now we got two outs, right? Not a big deal. And then somebody on the Rangers goes, "Hey, he didn't touch second. And so they got they communicated to the dugout. Dugout called up the review guys, and they were like, "Yeah, he didn't touch it." So they 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 had him call, you know, the call for a review. And of course, you know, the call on the field was overturned. Runners out. And you just saw this look of like, I am a complete dumbass. Just come across his face, and I'm like, he didn't get a problem. That's, that. that's, that's what you get for being the pivot man in the circle jerk, dude. So I mean, yeah, that's the rookiest of mistakes. But you know, I'm, I'm to make it too. yeah, you know, and I noticed that. So, but here's the thing: Texas is coming in, and it looks like they're gonna they're gonna be seven and zero to start the playoffs because right now they're in the middle of the sixth inning. It's it's five to two Texas right now in game two, but you know it. it they do play seven games in these series for a reason. So I, I'm not necessarily counting Houston out. I mean, they've still got they've still got four innings uh, of ball left to play, but you know, three and a half innings of, of of baseball left. So, at least as far as this game is concerned, now I don't want this to be a four or five game series. I want this to go the distance because when people need, I mean, what what people need to understand across the, the, the baseball world is that. We do things just a little bit differently down here. So, and I say that as a Red Sox fan. So, but when whenever the two Texas teams play, dude, it's like the world goes on pause for a minute. Everybody's watching. You know, and I mean, you, you definitely, you definitely understand who who roots for who in this state. You know, and you know, well, I, 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 I like a little out of down here as a Red Sox fan in the middle of Astros country. But good lord. Dude, the Rangers fans. I mean, it's it's almost like it's almost like you know you start seeing the Rangers fans start peeking their heads out. It's it's almost like the Frank family going on a grocery run. <laughs> Cautiously yeah. optimistic, dude. I mean, they're they're just. And here's the thing. We all know Rangers fans. I mean, Chris is one. But, you know, for the most part, I mean, and, and every fan base has got these types of people, but it's like you you get those people that are just like so incredibly clueless. It's just they, they jump on that bandwagon. And then, you, you know, they're so diehard, so fervent about the team winning. It's like, you know. It's it's like it's almost like they take their dog tags off and they hold them in their hand like speak to me goose, you know. <laughs> yep. But then you ask them like, who pitched for you guys tonight? Oh. What? Well, we oh we won. That's all that matters, right? I'm like, yeah. But who who who's your ace? Who's your ace right now? Who's batting cleanup right now? Like, who's your designated hitter? You know. Here's an even better question: Who's your manager? I don't fucking have to answer myself to you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, well, man, that's all that matters. Speaking of, to see who's going to be in the, uh, you see who they're putting in tomorrow? Scherzer? Yeah, game three. Not tomorrow, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, it'll be Wednesday. Right. Because tomorrow's a travel day. You're right. Which, it, it, it amazes me. You know, normally when we talk about travel days, we're talking about, <laughs> Washington. They're just, going up fucking, they're just going up 45 and hanging a left on fucking 287. You know? That's a four hour drive. <laughs> yeah, like literally. I mean, it, a it's a one drive. hour flight, guys. You know, <laughs> it's a one hour flight. Uh, like, if, if you were going to play it, just, you know, even remotely conservatively, <laughs> just send the U Haul up a day before, you know, during, you know, like, the third inning, just get the equipment room packed and just send it to Arlington and just to have everybody hop on a flight and you can play tomorrow. It's just but, leave in the morning. The morning morning of. Yeah. Just yeah, go all right, guys. Uh, we're gonna right camp here. out here. Just 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 tell your mom, tell tell your tell your tell your, tell your kids and wives, you know, you'll see them you'll see them in a couple of days. Go straight we're gonna the 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 tonight. We're gonna leave at six thirty so we can beat rush hour traffic. 
<laughs> right from the airport to the uh, to the batting practice. Yeah, just you know, <laughs> don't, don't even don't even load them up in a charter bus. Just take them over there in fucking fifteen passenger vans. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, it was good for uh, good enough for us. You know, going out on like funeral details and like here, let's take a fifteen passenger van and just go an hour and a half out and bury somebody. Yep. But you know, <laughs> like oh, and, oh, that fifty dollars per day per diem. You know, hey, that's good stuff. But also known as beer money. Yeah, yeah. Also known as beer money. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> but uh, I mean, unless you were underage, but then drinking is bad. Life finds a way. Mm, yes life uh finds a way um <laughs> but yeah so i mean all right so here we go two outs bottom of the six they've got a runner on first right now um i'm not even gonna pull up the play-by-play -play. i'm just watching the score but yeah um and then and then we've got arizona and philadelphia they start tonight at 707. So, dude, I want Arizona to win so bad. Not a Phillies fan, are you? Well, let me put it to you this way. The only reason I want Philadelphia to go back to the World Series is to see them choke it away like they did last year. Because I love seeing the city of Philadelphia absolutely burn itself to the ground. You know, it's like I bet that Best Buy had a run on TVs today after the Eagles shit the bed against the Giants last night. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they tried to stop that. They arrested like uh, 150 people that were like uh, teachers, nurses, and other stuff. Oh, it is like, now five to three. People. It is now five to three. <sighs> okay. So the, the scoring play, uh, Michael Brantley doubled on a sharp line drive to center field uh, to Leotis uh, Tavares, and then uh, Jordan Al uh, Alvarez scored. So, um, But, yeah, it's now five to three going into the seventh inning. We will try to keep you appraised. Yes, we know that we are not allowed to dis rebroadcast, disseminate, any accounts of the game without the express written consent of the Texas Rangers, the Houston Astros, or Major League Baseball. But you know what? We're so small potatoes. I dare them to try. I dare them to find us. So. I dare them to find us. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, man, clown. Welcome to the FAFO show. <laughs> Oh no, the consequences of my actions. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that video too. <laughs> You're my favorite drill sergeant. Yeah. Drop. Drop. <laughs> well, Everybody so so sorry the door in. At ease. Hi, you don't move. You stay down there. <laughs> I mean that that's that's like me in basic getting busted drinking soda on KP. No. Oh, dude, it was. Oh, oh no. Our senior drill instructor, uh, Sergeant First Class Low, was like he pulls us to the side. He goes, "Man," and he talked just like like Barry White, dude. He was like, "Man, don't let me catch your ass drinking no fucking soda," right? <laughs> we were like, "Watch that, Sergeant." So he leaves. And then there's this other drill from uh, one of the other companies. He's in there and he's telling everybody like we're like midday break, like in between lunch and dinner kind of a thing. And uh, we're trying to get our chow in so that way we can serve everybody else. Right. And uh, he's like, and we're drinking. We, we were drinking water all fucking day. Doing what we were supposed to be doing. Right. It's called accountability. Right. This motherfucking drill sergeant sets us up for failure, dude. Failure. Mm -mm. Right? He's like, go in there and get your ass some goddamn soda. We're like, oh, no. Our Eat drill sergeant told us not to. And he goes, you guys just took a damn class on follow the last directives given. Oh, we're like, oh, drill sergeant. 
so we decided we're going to err in the way of discretion, right? We get some Sprite. Because the glasses are clear, right? Yeah. yeah. We're sitting there. We're eating our food, and we're drinking Sprite. It's got no caffeine in it. None. Zero. But it's got, I know, I know it's got sugar in there. Don't, don't at me. Doris and Arlo walks in, and we were like, oh. Let's hope he doesn't notice. Let's hope he doesn't notice. Let's hope he doesn't notice. And he re- he walks over to our table, and he's like, "Was that in your glass? Why is that bubbly?" He reaches down and picks up one of our cups, and he sniffs it, and he goes, "He puts the cup down. He goes, you're done eating. Dump your shit and go out on the back dock.'" We were like, oh, "Hell no!" Damn it. So we we were like. Oh fuck, we are so fucked. Oh my god. He started smoking that ass, dude. I mean, we we're just like, what the I mean, we're pushing. We're just we're just locked up. I mean, we're doing flutter kicks. I mean, dude, it was I mean, we're sitting there and he's like, You bunch of damn privates. You just said fuck drill son low, didn't you? And we we're like, No, no. If we say no, we know that we're gonna be down here longer. Yep. Because yep. he's gonna be like then what is it? Just don't say anything. I See, was never smart enough to get that. I never understood. My seventeen-year-old brain at the time was like, "Yeah, let's just agree with him, so that way he gets it out of his system." Oh no, you did. And we were like, we we're like, God. you did. You just decided you're going to do whatever the hell you fucking want. In it, I mean, we had already explained to him that the other drill sergeant told us that you know to go get it. Like he yeah, gave yeah. us an order, right? But he wasn't having that because. We aren't his privates. We are his privates, right? So we're right. right. So he's like, you just said, fuck drill sergeant low. Yes, drill sergeant. Oh, you said, fuck drill sergeant low. Dude, he just went off. I mean, the NCOIC at KP that day had to come out there and ask for him to release us back to him so that way we could serve chow. (laughs) Dude, we are drenched. It is fucking September in Georgia, right? Uh And our, I mean, dude, there are puddles of sweat on the back dock from where our hands were. Yep. Right. We got up and there was dry handprints on the damn concrete. Oh, <laughs> you see the white salt outline? <laughs> yeah. I mean, our, our BDUs had salt stains on them, dude. We oh, were the worst. It was, dude, it was horrible. Right. Fucked. We get back in there and that drill sergeant was like, don't worry about it. I'll handle him later. We were like, uh, girl song with all due respect, no, the fuck you're not. <laughs> you know? And so we get done, we get done with KP and we get released. We get back to our platoon and our buddies are all like, the fuck did y'all do? We saw drill song low smoking y'all's ass from the window. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, whatever you do, do not fucking drink soda. Like no, you guys had soda. We were drinking Sprite and they were like, it's got no caffeine. Like we know. <laughs> like he told us not to drink soda, but the drills aren't told us to go drink soda. So we just like, like all right, we're going to drink Sprite because it's clear. It's like bringing vodka to the workplace. Right? right. Exactly. Makes sense. Nope. And then that night he comes walking around and he stops at our bunks and he's like, you had all that damn sugar this afternoon with that damn motherfucking soda. Get your ass outside. We're like, <laughs> Isn't the statute of limitations up on this? No. No. <laughs> I mean, dude, I was all I mean, I was like I had already tipped over the edge. I was falling into the deepest pool in the world sleep, right? I was tired. I was wore out, bro. And I mean, I'm in my PTs. I'm ready to go for the next day. Right? And nope. Nope. At no, I had to go change into another set of PTs after I took a shower before I got back in my bunk that night. Dude, I was. But hey, you know what? That's one of those. Feel free to condition my mind and my body, drill sergeant. Can you imagine going back through basic now, knowing what we know now? Yeah, like, we still aren't. Do not, do not please go to the gym because. I would be smoked even worse now because I would know that they don't mean any of it. I would be a sarcastic motherfucker. Oh, dude. I, yeah. We would be those privates that would go through. 
with the mission of breaking our girls' hearts. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. You may break my body, but you will not break my sense of humor. Like, you cannot smoke yes. a rock, girl's heart. <laughs> like, you can't if you put it up into little pieces. Do we need to have you pee in a cup, girl's heart? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, would, I would simultaneously be their, their least and most favorite recruit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you're oh, there in your pinks and greens walking across the parade field, <laughs> Joe Sarr walks up to you, you know, your family and your girlfriend, you need to stand together. Oh, we're so proud of you. Oh, we're so proud of you. The fuck out of my sight right <laughs> goddamn now. <laughs> I ever see your fucking shadow dark on my doorstep again. <laughs> I will fucking skin you alive. <laughs> better tell me what fucking unit you're going to, because after I get out of here, I don't want to see you again. <laughs> Right. If I come down on orders for the, even the same post, I'm changing that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck an A wall. Use the fuck out of those orders. <laughs> You're yep. gonna get black. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Here's my retirement packet. Worth it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, totally, totally worth it. Worth it. <laughs> <That's> okay, <laughs> so we're gonna move on to the NFL. Um, <laughs> Well, yes. there's one one thing that actually did happen in the NFL. Uh, Damian Harris, uh, he he still he's he got carted off on the field uh, for a neck injury. Uh, he 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 all of his arms and legs are working, so it it was a bad hit, but he wasn't paralyzed, so that's a good thing. That was one of the biggest things that happened this weekend. But yeah, I was I was looking at uh, so uh all the uh, wheels. Huh? His X Men name is not going to be Wheels. No, no, no. <laughs> Apparently, that's a common occurrence when they uh, get hit bad. I mean, some of them uh get paralyzed for a couple of days and start. Uh, so they shave their head and they they carry around the '90s X Men theme song. Yeah. yeah, dude. Oh, that would absolutely be my. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. My role. I mean, I would I would actually pay a mariachi band to follow me around to play that song. <laughs> like, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> walk into El Toro or some place like that, you know, or or uh, Jimmy Changa's down there in Paraland, be like. <laughs> like, I'd go to Colorado and go to where was that? I sat down that mariachi band. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah. Like, uh, sir, who are the who are they? They're with me. Don't worry about it. They're, they're my theme song. <coughs> Don't hate. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry, David. I'm so sorry. Totally worth it. <laughs> Completely hijacked that. All right. <clears throat> so uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Cowboys are playing tonight, and yeah, I'm just really not that interested to watch the game tonight. I'm just being completely honest. Um, I'm I'm way too invested <coughs> in the uh, Rangers game. Excuse me, <coughs> the bronchitis is acting up. Let's see here. Right. <coughs> Uh, it's the middle of the seventh, so we're in the seventh inning stretch. Score is still 5-3 on that game. Okay. So, we're going to do this here. Hold on just a second. Let me get all my windows reorganized over here. And we're going to go over here, and then I'm going to come down here. And because I still have administrative rights. <coughs> Give me just a sec, fellas. Okay. Okay, look at that. Oh, instantaneous because I still have admin rights. Uh, okay. We're gonna sit here and wait patiently for him. No, no, we can we can go through it. I don't I just don't want him to die or have death like symptoms. You know how good this mic is? I can hear you fapping. Damn it. <laughs> didn't say a damn word and then because i was just i was david don't break eye contact <laughs> <laughs> uh uh oh uh everybody 
Look at this. David, you need to keep one hand where we can see it. it says the uh, NSA, the only <laughs> government that listens to me. <coughs> As you stepped away, David was like, you know how good this mic is? And you hear this underneath, right? No, how good of, these headphones are? I heard all of that. Yeah. And so <laughs> I was like, I can hear you fapping. He's like, damn it. You know, and, and I looked. I said, do not break icon. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill Chris. Stop oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we had a better week this week on our picks than we did last week, but not by much. March. Yeah, we actually broke broke uh there's a lot of them that broke uh uh their their winning streak. Yeah, we're getting to that, David. We're getting to that. I mean I'm trying, I'm trying to be more of don't, don't don't put it out on display that you suffer from premature reporting. I I just want to be part of the group. I know we're gonna we we gonna include you with the puppy. No, yes, we are. Oh. All right. <laughs> My penalty platypus is a wall. Thank God. You That's have to right. fix everything. I'll just hit you with a warning Humvee. You know, that's what I'll do. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me get bad touch Bob out. Ah, get him dust out off. Where did I touch you? That was bad. No <laughs> fucking work, pal. All right. Anyways, men in their plushies. They're stuffed animals. Your <laughs> action figure. Anyway, so we picked the Chiefs to beat the donkeys. And the Swifties showed up in force and enabled us. I mean, they they just, you know, they brought their Jedi powers to 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 to, to what is it arrowhead stadium and, and just fucking unleashed it and you know they squeaked out a 19 to, to eight win so you know good job there okay um we had the ravens over the titans because we that one had me scared for a minute that one had me scared for a minute because i'm like oh. The Titans are going to pull this off. And I'm like, it would just be like the Titans. The one week that we don't pick them that are going to side. We're, we're going to be a bigger disappointment. And we're going to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. I'm going to show up, guys. Oh, never mind. I mean, they, they brought the crayon drawn out birth certificate. I am 12. But 24 to 16 for the Ravens. So good job there. We had the Redskins over the Falcons. That one was a good game. I'm not going to lie. That was a good team to watch. <coughs> then we had the Vikings over the Bears, 19 to 13. Good job, Minnesota. Welcome to the win. Welcome back to the win column. Um, we had we had the Bengals over the Seahawks. No, no, no. We decided to divert. We did. I had the Seahawks over the Bengals. I had the Bengals over the Seahawks. Chris took it the other way. I was right. <laughs> And Chris was mistaken. Semantics. Also, it's all about semantics. It is. Yeah. But a win is still a win. That's right. Now, we both had the Niners over the Browns. Yeah. These are I did the most upset of upset. Like, really? We're going to go out and we're going to embarrass the Cowboys at home. I wonder how much they'll lose to the Browns in Cleveland. I'll I honestly, I honestly wonder I'm how much. The water. I'm, blaming, I'm blaming the public water source at the hotel that the 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> they stayed. They did not stay at the Holiday Inn. No, I mean, if they'd have stayed at the Holiday Inn Express, not only would they have come away with a win, but they could have, they could have brought in peace to the Middle East, and they could have rebuilt Gaza in their own image. I'm just kind of putting that out there. Yep. Uh, then we had the Saints over the Texans. I never saw that coming either. I'm scratching my head, man, because I'm I'm just kind of sitting there going, I'm expecting traffic coming out of coming off of 620 over by where uh, NRG Stadium is to be a little heavier about the third quarter. Oh no, they stayed the whole game. <coughs> the Saints, twenty to thirteen. I'm just 
like, okay. This is probably going to be the only time of the year that the Texans can actually tout that they're at 500. So good job. <laughs> um, we had the Jags over the Colts. That one went out accordingly, 37 to 20. And then we had the Fish beating the Panthers. They actually doubled up on them, 42 to 21. Man. No surprise there either. Yeah, no surprise. Miami's going to be a little scary down the yeah. stretch. So, yeah. um, and then we had the Raiders over the Patriots. Correctly. Correctly. Yeah. I mean, they, they were, I mean, the, the, the Patriots were trying to do the whole, um, lateral game on that, on that. <laughs> <trip>. And, <laughs> <laughs> that Raider was just standing there going, thank you. And he just runs it in. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I feel like Chris Farley in that one, uh, the scene from Tommy Boy when he's in the office. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> the rookie's over there puking his guts out. <laughs> <laughs> and the car catches fire. Oh, God, my family's burning. Meanwhile, back in the real world. Uh, we had the the I had the Lions over the Buccaneers. I am I I'm I'm calling it now. I'm gonna stop going against the Lions because they have made me look foolish this entire season so far. I so you're blaming the Lions for that? I I'm I am not That's going against the Lions anymore. <laughs> David comes in Only from in this field. instance. Yes, I <laughs> come in from left field with that huge sucker punch. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting on this instance. Am I am I gonna blame the Lions? <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff right there. Buddy. For everything else, I blame my parents. So. Uh, okay, uh, after seven, it's still five to three, Texas. So we're we're gonna we're gonna keep going back and forth here. Okay. <clears throat> um then we started it's going to top of the eighth. Yeah. Um Bless you. It's like, what the My fuck? My sister in law's dog is in here. So <laughs> give me just a second. Hold on just a second. <laughs> yeah, how the fuck did you get here? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? What happened with that? <laughs> I heard this like little low key growl, and I'm like, my chair creaking? Like, what the fuck is going on? And then, I, then you heard that. <laughs> that, that, that was that was her dog yeah um we only shit the bed really on two picks and those were consecutive um now the cowboy pick is still up for debate but um well three picks we we got wrong but we we picked correctly we um picked the rams over the cardinals Ooh. that was the no-brainer of the week right and then I thought this was a no-brainer. I really thought the Eagles. Yeah, I really did. Uh, we yeah. had the Eagles confidently picked over the Jets, and then the Jets just go, eh, we're going to live up to our potential this week. <laughs> <laughs> What's sad is, is I was looking at the standings. I was looking at the standings uh, like uh, Sunday night, and the two teams, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just 49ers and the Eagles that are like, uh, you know, four and oh, but we haven't looked at the standings for the rest of the day uh, on Sunday, so it, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. And that fucking happened. I was like, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut from now on. Oh, yeah. I could only be so lucky, yeah. yeah. I mean, we uh, hope that's not gonna happen, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't, I would we'll call that a sucker punch, but you know, everybody agrees. <laughs> No, I'll tell you what happened <laughs> in the Meadowlands is uh, the, they, the the Jets didn't sucker punch Philadelphia. They bent Jalen Hurts over and donkey punched him like straight up. Mm. I mean, they they what happened is they right and shanked him like that white rich kid in American Me. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck was that? It's a movie. No, 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 no. Oh. You, you keep it going. I gotta get. I got stuff in the producer stuff. Okay. 
Um, oh, that's right. You're the producer. I forget. That. Yeah, he's the producer this week. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm trying to get somebody on the podcast, and I get people that mess up. Did he just call us nobodies? Yes, you are nobodies. Wow. Lovable and kind as much as you want. <laughs> anyway, so we're moving on. Um, the Jets actually took it to the to the Eagles and broke their five game winning streak. So there's no more undefeated teams in the NFL. Uh, the Eagles were taken down by the Jets. Could maybe it? No, oh, that's not true. Bird strike? No. The no, is there? Dolphins is there still? Dolphins are still undefeated. No, the Dolphins are five and one. No, they they've they're they weren't one of the teams. Right, right. Back the, now, the, the the converse of that is that the Panthers are zero and six. So somebody still <laughs> over. So we still have we still have one countdown going on at least. Yeah, I mean, our, our you know if they can, if they, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Owen, Owen, Owen seven. Oh, and eight, oh, and nine. How long mm-hmm. can we leave that up? Yeah. Well, it will be like uh, Texas AM Aggie baseball fans, you know, where they start counting balls like <laughs> ball four, ball five, ball five. <laughs> like they get into the head of like the opposing pitchers, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. They're like, well, that's just trashy enough to be classy. <laughs> that's like, that's like boxed wine classy right there. Um, but the uh, next we had the the uh, we we had the Giants at the Bills. Now for a minute there, dude, I thought that was going to be an upset. Yeah. I really did, because um, the Giants actually pulled ahead with like three minutes to go. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the the Bills just managed to. I mean, th- this is one of those games where you kind of look at it and you're yeah. like, they did the absolute bare minimum. To pull out a yeah. win, it's like there was there was no other. F. If they would have played almost literally any other team, they would have just gotten spanked. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> so it's almost, it's almost, it's almost like sixteen. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, it's 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 kind of like you know it, it it was like a JV versus varsity scrimmage match. And the JV kids showed up feeling a little chippy because they wanted to punk out the varsity team. Right. You know, because like the starting center, you know, middle linebacker for the JV got cut from the varsity squad. And so he's got it out for the, you know, he's got it out for that team, you know. But I'm like, I mean, that's kind of what this game almost kind of felt like. It was, it was, it was just like practice squad versus the starters and the practice squad guys really wanted to make a mark. You know, and I mean, I'm just kind of like, one of the varsity guys stole one of the JV players' girlfriends, and yeah, yeah, they yeah. all kind of took it personal. Yeah, I mean, she. <laughs> took it, I mean, she yep. took it very personally. Oh yeah, many she- times. <laughs> um, but uh, as of right now, those are our those those were the picks for the week. And like I said, we we only missed three of them so far. So. Don't get confident no. because we know what happens when we get well, confident. You know, in, in the words of a, a very unpopular divorce lawyer back in Wichita County, I wasn't done yet. Just because I took a breath doesn't mean that you can speak. You know, <laughs> objection. The witness is being argumentative and combative. Um, I'm just going to stop taking my outside picks because my outside picks have been trash. I have not, my gut has not been good to me. I'm glad that you admit that. You know what? Now that you said that, I'm going to dispute every fucking pick. <laughs> every fucking pick I mean, I would just, I mean, just out of principle, you have to know. <laughs> <laughs> just mark me down for opposite, whatever you guys come up with. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat for the Thursday night game this week, we've got kind of a head scratcher. We've got the Jaguars and the Saints. Now, the Saints touted supposed to be pretty good, but then they come down here to Houston and they lose to the Texans, of all people. Um, but they're playing the Jaguars. They're playing them in New Orleans at the Caesar, Caesar Superdome. Um, I kind of want to go with the Jags on this one. Yeah, that was my initial thought. I thought you were going to go against us. 
I'm going to go against you. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with the Jags. David, you were supposed to be the chosen one. You were supposed <laughs> to bring balance to the show, not destroy it. Okay? <laughs> no, no. I have to have chaos. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Don't do it, David. I have the high ground. <laughs> you underestimate his power. Schwartz. <laughs> I really do hate it when my Schwartz gets twisted. I, I just <laughs> see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Right. I am your college roommate's cousin's cousin's twice removed brother in law. Cousins. Cousins. Cousin. What's that make us? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> what you are about to become. <laughs> I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's with you, man? Can't believe you're so free. If, 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 if and when I do finally get a 3D printer in this house, I'm going to print a scale one to one ver uh, a replica of Dark Helmets. Helmet. <laughs> yes. And so then I am going to helmet? hunt. I am going to search high, far, near. I'm going to hunt down Rick Moranis just so he can sign it. Yes. <laughs> well, that's going to be kind of hard because I don't think he does any cons. I mean, you you get your get your passport and go to Canada. But that's about yeah. it. Yeah, that's that's basically about it. You know, just kind of stalk him, find out which Tim Hortons he goes to. Investigate. There's 85 people in Canada, so it shouldn't be too hard. And I'm willing to bet that he lives in the British Columbia side because he doesn't look like the kind of asshole that would like hold French over your head. No, mm -hmm. maybe <laughs> Ontario. Vancouver. Maybe there's no way he's he's in Quebec. No, 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 he's not a Quebec. <clears throat> I'll, 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 down, I'll stand down at the end of the laneway and I won't come up to property, but I'll hold the helmet above my head like John Cusack. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the speaker inside of it that just is playing all of his lines <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just playing the space ball song yeah. space ball oh, watch oh. out watch out <laughs> oh shit there goes the neighborhood there goes the, there goes the planet <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> And wait till the like the Royal Mounted Police come up and then just play that little sound bite. I knew it. I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> <laughs> He's an asshole. Well, I can see that. <laughs> Why is Johnny and Jell in Canada? What did he do? Uh, uh... <laughs> like, very you get a, if you get a collect call recording on your phone. <laughs> The following <laughs> you are receiving a collect call from from M8, and then you're gonna hear me saying my name. Will you accept the charges, eh? <laughs> Can I pay oh. in maple syrup? I will I will play that that South Park musical number. Blame Canada. Part. Blame Canada. No, it's fuck Canada. Fuck Canada. Fuck Canada. It was blame Canada. <laughs> Why is Johnny in America's two cat? What's what's going on there? <laughs> and then my first, my first day back on the show, like after coming back to the US, I'm gonna stand there. I'm gonna go wear a flannel shirt and some jeans. I'm gonna stand there in front of the camera. So you were with your pals looking for an autographs the other day. <laughs> my time here has changed me, eh? <laughs> <laughs> have you have you has you ever had What's up, aids to your dark's helmet? Worth <laughs> 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 it. You take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it feels it feels good, it's, tummies. It feels natural. It feels, it feels right. <laughs> 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 oh fuck oh fuck 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I, I got I gotta Astros tell you guys something. Astros just scored again. It was now mm. five four, bottom of the eighth. Row row shaggy. Ooh, bases empty. Ooh, and that was a Jordan Alvarez home run. Mm -hmm. That was. <laughs> Mindy's coming, but they got the game on in the living room. He's coming by the door. And she's dancing every night with the good hands. It's okay. It's only game two. Yeah. Still a lot of baseball left to play. Yeah, like I said at the top of the show. So we need to get back on these picks, guys. Okay. Hey, this one's going to require us to use our brain for something besides keeping our ears apart. Lions at the Ravens. You know what? I I said it Lions. a little while ago. I, I'm no longer going against the Lions, so I'm picking the Lions. Yeah. That, that's That's, you know. I'm comfortable I, with I that. I feel like that's a decent pick, though. I really feel like the I Lions yeah. handle them. Ravens handle them. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, <clears throat> the Ravens, solid ball team. Absolutely solid. Uh, top to bottom. You know, they've, they've got some definite deficiencies. But, dude, I mean, Detroit, Detroit kind of reminds me of, you know, the Houston Astros. Bef you know, when uh, back in 2015, um, you know, they they just got a new owner. You know, they they were, you know, turning over personnel left and right. And in the season before, they were finishing like like 100 games under under 500 kind of a thing. I mean, they were an absolute like doormat, right? And you know, kind of like what the A's are now. And um, and then they started getting really good all of a sudden. And like I told everybody, I was like, what did I tell y'all? Because like the following season, they they finished like three games above 500, which, I mean, you might as well just throw a ticker tape parade for that, right? I mean, because, <laughs> I mean, the Astros organization used to be the epitome of mediocrity. Yep. And uh, for the Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. You know, meanwhile, the right the Red Sox now they're they're like, how come nobody wants us? You know, like they they're they're extending invitations to interview people for the new for their open GM spot, and everybody's turning them down. And I'm like, well, I mean, my name used to mean something, damn it. I mean, people, I mean, <laughs> to an extent, Red Sox Nation only really has ourselves to blame for it because, like, we absolutely torched the GM. Mm -hmm every fucking day on social media mm -hmm. nobody wants to do that shit nobody wants to put up with that you know but i don't know we'll see um there, there's rumors that they're going to talk to the uh, to the former uh general manager of the florida marlins which she she's solid and yes she isn't a female um she's solid i mean she she the the marlins finished fourth last year they finished third and, and despite all the trades that they made, still got swept by the Phillies in, in the in the playoffs. But um hold on, I got this. Found it finally. It's gonna be some space balls bullshit, isn't it? I had to. You couldn't hear anything? No. I really like how our, our producer is timely. Uh, on all of his inserts, it's topical, relevant to the conversation that's going on at the moment. Like he's over there trying to squeeze out a ripper fart, and he's just so loose back there. That it comes out <laughs> going, you know, <laughs> I wish he doesn't have streaks in his drawers, he's got rings. <laughs> if I ever, ever, <laughs> and make a wish. <laughs> you really just wish you get permanent crabs. You can't get rid of them at all. <laughs> Davis. <laughs> crabs are one thing. <laughs> you have Dungeness. 
He's got a last game king crab. <laughs> I mean, oh, dude, don't remind me of that shit. If they film deadliest catch on your ass, I mean, <laughs> someone someone sent me a video, and uh, instead of pink, let's just say this: instead of a ping pong ball, it was a live crab. Moving on. That, yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> next game, like people are like, come on. They're fast forwarding through all of this. I mean, they're, they're just like. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, Show going downhill. She, she's just like. Show you. Yeah. <laughs> the people are tuning in and now they're tuning out because they're like. M Mindy. Fucking already. <laughs> Tell us, Mindy, Mindy, we are trying to have a show here. We're trying to conduct ourselves here, and the constant interruptions oh, very on. disruptive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Chris would like to say something. Mindy, we're trying to do a show here, and your constant interruptions are very disruptive. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was excited because we scored, and I made homemade lasagnas. Uh, we lasagna is I good. But that scoring, no, right. no. What position no. you play? I wasn't aware that you were. Yeah. Are you on the field? Where? Yeah. What position? I am the um, last resort DH. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the barrel, last hope. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't you on the field then? Because my Maybe position need is. You now. <laughs> home. So, yeah, that's that's my job. And then if they need me, they'll call me. Up. <laughs> that's how far back she is. <laughs> oh. what? <laughs> what okay. I had to bust your chops, Mindy. I'm sorry. Yes. Can you bring me something? Please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, She's a good sport. I like that. Oh, yeah. I love that woman to death. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, yes. Still bottom of the eight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Raiders at the Bears. Raiders. Raiders. Yeah. Raiders. Because why? Fuck them. That's why. All right. Because I won't touch the fucking Bears. The Bears will touch you. Uh, yeah, the bears will touch me, but you know, David has I'm nightmares. Cute. He curls up in the fetal position every time he hears, "Hey, hey boo boo." Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what are you is talking about? Is on. that a picnic basket? <laughs> <laughs> he gets all his picnic. Basket. Wait a minute, which which type of bears are we talking about? Because you know, Chris. <sighs> Really? I hear cheering. Hold on. Refresh that. I'm refreshing it. I know that. I know that. Oh, okay. Michael Brantley just drew a walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she has little nicknames. For almost all the players, mm -hmm. McCormick, she calls him season salt because you know McCormick salt, season salt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jose Altuve. I I know. <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh my gosh, she goes back. She's like, <laughs> she's so adorable. I definitely, I. De I'm down here playing triple A ball and and somehow I got I, I got put on the I got put on the big big clubs hitting or you know roster. I, I have no idea what I'm doing up here. <laughs> All right, the Browns and the Krilts. The Krilts? Colts. Man, I miss fucking words. Though. You said krill, like you did say krill. Like Matt Damon, Brad Pitt, and Happy Feet 2 Krills. 100 percent said krilts. No, no, no. Is that like a kilt made out of krill? More, more, more or Orville. David would totally rock that. They may take our lives. 
but they'll never take my Dungeness crabs. <laughs> <laughs> and he's screaming, Penicillin! <laughs> screaming freedom. <laughs> he just <laughs> melted butter. Melted butter! <laughs> Cheddar <laughs> Bay biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So the Browns at the Colts. I don't care about this game. It means absolutely <laughs> nothing. I uh, yeah. yeah, a coin on this one. I, I'm just going to say, uh, I'm going to say the Browns. Fuck it. I literally have no reason to say the Browns other than... Here's what I was going to do, and here's how I was going to type it out. Do it. I was going to put the quilts... The quilts? For the explanation on this pick, C's show. Yes. Do it. (laughs) Fucking do it. Fucking do it. Do it. I need thousand people to make fun of me. I mean, I I want people to go to my funeral knowing they had some way they could prevent it. You know, if we I didn't make I fun of them that way. Fact that I was able to contribute to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would go in a t-shirt that said, I did this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we have this one officially. It's grilt over streak marks for explanation. Watch the show. <laughs> I thought it was rings. Grilt over <laughs> oh, you're right. Because <laughs> he can't make street parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even buy him the bullets. Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, holy! Sh- okay, never mind. Way to go, MLB. Giving me this freaking like Jordan Alvarez now has six homers in six games. I'm like, um, <laughs> that was a uh, what? Like, way to be on the up and up. Like, it's oh my god. Okay, moving on. Bills at the Patriots. Bills. Yeah. See, Patriots are shit this year. I mean, we're not talking about the Bill Belichick's. No, here comes Bill Belichick. Oh, what did you fucking say? We're talking about the expired bill. <laughs> like, settle <laughs> down, Emperor Palpatine. We're talking about <laughs> like, good lord. <laughs> We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. Practice. Talking practice. Not even a game. Practice. Right. <laughs> I love that in Ted Lasso when he turns that around on Jamie. <laughs> okay. Redskins over the Giants. Redskins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Redskins. I'm taking the I'm taking the Redskins, dude. <sighs> All right, I'll put you down. No, no, no. We're gonna go Redskins. Every fiber of my being wants to say the Giants, but I I I know that I'm gonna be. I know I'm going to be wrong, so we'll go Redskins. Okay. I'm no longer listening to my gut. <laughs> Except when you've had Taco Bell, then listen to your gut. Oh, I listen extremely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to ignore at that point. Bubble, bubble, you're a few miles away from home, so you, you put that left foot on the foot rest down on the floorboard, and then you press <laughs> up, and you're levitating your ass off the seat, and you're kind of just set all G style. <laughs> Luckily, the Taco Bell is like a block away from. Well, it's like three blocks away from. Me. Knowing your luck, somebody would have hit a fire hydrant. There's going to be a geyser going up in the air. Traffic's <laughs> blocked off. Well, well let's get like a water day. out. I mean, you're sitting there. You're sitting there just like eyeballing the the empty wrappers of your of your 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 double crunch gordita and your chalupa. You know. While you're uh-huh. sipping down that Baja Blast Mountain Dew. No. Nah. No. All I heard, all I heard, you said gushing high fire hydrant. I heard outdoor bidet. That, that's what I was saying. You know what? And and if he shits on the fucking concrete, it cleans itself up. I'm saying. I mean, they can get away with it in San Francisco. And they're yeah. trying to do it in Austin. Why not? 
Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Listen, it's it's you get out the water right there, comes out with enough pressure, it's gonna you know wash it all away. Yeah. You know what? That is some. Think about how, how good. Hey, you know what? You, right you know now. what? You know what? That that's that's promote over peers right there. <laughs> promote over peers. <laughs> we got the Falcons at the Bucks. Uh, Buccaneers. Nah, I think Falcons might get it. They might pull it off. Mountains, yeah, yeah. Falcons. Okay. See, see what he did there. Okay. He corrected himself. Fucking dyslexia yeah. when you're tired, dude. Did he say fountains? He did. He did say yes, fountains. Yes, I did say fountains. He was Fuck still it. stuck on the uh the outdoor bidet. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about fountains, David, just know we'll be there for you. Even you know, when you we realize that it's not your day, week, month, or even your year. <laughs> now I'm going to order that shirt for you, Chris. <laughs> I'm going to order that shirt for you. I did this. I did this. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I, want picture, I, just, I want a picture of your headstone and it just uh, the caption says I did this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, for being honest, David, I want to go to your funeral knowing I could have done something to to prevent it. Man, I've told that to so many people and I get the same look each and every time. It's always <laughs> oh so my phone said, rings at three o'clock in the morning. I want to look over and Decline your call and your voicemail. <laughs> like, this call was it. If you had answered, it would have been fine, but this is it. <laughs> right. I'm well, gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get yourself listening to it later. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get the DPS or I'm gonna get like the Brazoria County Sheriff's Department come knocking on my damn door at three in the morning going. <laughs> You were the last person to have contact with him. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> three this morning. According to phone records, you were the last one he called. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I <laughs> like, that was. <laughs> like, I'll feel bad for about, I don't know, a couple of minutes until I remember that I've got the login information for the stream yard. You're <laughs> 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 like, shit, he's got. Oh, wait, never mind. I got it. <laughs> like, I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> like, then we'll hold open auditions. Be the next <laughs> David. <laughs> Hashtag new David. <laughs> so basically, what you're telling me is you're going to go like uh, the local uh, retards uh, place and just pick up one of them. Hopefully, the cute one. Hey, hey. I hey, I'm hey either White House no, 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 or the no, no, no. L Listen, it's not. No. It's called for your information. The Marine Recruiting Office. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, All right. All right. I mean, it's bad enough yeah. that we got, you know, I mean, we don't need another Air Force person down here looking down at their nose at us with their superior credit rating. I mean, Ooh, cool. maybe we'll get a Space Force person. Oh, oh, oh that's my you know. Space Ranger now. Yes. You saw that? Yeah. yeah. Get yeah. yeah. Space Even better. Ranger. Dapper qualified. Yes, I saw no, that. No, no, no. I didn't wear his tabs too, which is amazing. Yeah. Y'all y'all didn't read his name. What was his Captain name? Reynolds? He's an officer sure. too? He's a brown coat. He's oh. a brown coat. <laughs> yes. Captain Mao. I mean, I saw that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> we just for a job. Point. What it is. <laughs> oh. Briefly, there used to be um, like an uh, like a you know like they got Star Trek online. There yeah. used to be a Firefly online, like you could play in that whole verse. Yeah, and now, people were trying to build the Serenity, and the developers of the game were like, no. And so when they finally came out with like uh, like the full alpha version of the game, mm -hmm. Nathan Felion came out and was like, he did the voiceover for the intro to the game. Mm. 
he gets to play at he well when the game was on, on online he he got to play as himself as oh, Mal. hell yeah and he was the only one who could fly the serenity nice nice yeah like i mean people tried to get like a firefly type class ship i mean you couldn't board them you couldn't you know, i mean you had to do other things take other options he was the only one that had the serenity in that game and i think it i think it was only online for like a couple of months like, yeah, yeah it was very, very underrated. Underrated. yeah but i mean i saw that dude i was like oh, that is fucking cool anyway um so are we taking the bucks or are we taking the fountains <sighs> fountains yeah i i think the consensus is to do the fountains yeah okay i don't feel good about it but Mm-mm. that's what we're doing okay uh let me see here Hell, I'm still thinking on the next pick. No, Rams. Yeah, Rams. Nothing to think about. Yeah. <laughs> Steelers are going to win. Come on. Well, the Rams haven't really been good since they won the. Uh, they won last Steelers. week. Yeah. Convincingly. Yeah. I wasn't convinced. I mean, granted, they were playing the Steelers, Donkeys, but still. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason why you know I couldn't really you know go for it's it. The Steelers, the Steelers are the East Coast version of the Donkeys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They can't even keep a name on the side of their stadium. Are you kidding they're, me? They're the aluminum. Yeah. In fact, we're not even calling them the Steelers anymore. They are the aluminums. Okay. You know what? We need to put that up there. I'm not. I'm not typing the aluminiums. Yeah, no. See if Don't I ever say that to me again. <laughs> <laughs> I hate England that bad because of that shit. Oregano. I will <laughs> Thursday. I will go down. It's like, hey Johnny, how's it going? And I would get in my car and roll by it back. I fucking hate that shit. It's almost as bad as like, hey, can you put the stuff in the boot in the tr- uh in the car? What? the fuck are you talking about how am i gonna put it in the boot boot in the in the lorry yeah got it he lift the bar i got so mixed up thinking uh iu was actually fucking adamantium i was gonna get wolverine claws and shit that is a byproduct of your brain sir that's yeah that's that's 100 percent you yeah i'm so pissed off at England for that all right, fine. I will not type aluminium in the on on, on the. It's on just the understood. We're going to say it constantly now. Yeah, nah. we won't type it. Middle of the night, we still went. five to four. Okay, now well, the water. <laughs> getting back to these picks. Um, next is going to be the Cardinals at the Seahawks, and we're going to take the Seahawks. Yeah. You ever want to say something? Then shut up. Ever want to say something? Then just to throw up in the back of your uh, the throw up hits the back of your you know neck and everything, and you just call the gag reflex, David. Only when I talk to you. Okay. So we're gonna take the Packers on this one. Uh, duh, duh. Uh, hello. <laughs> I still want to throw up a little bit on it. I don't care, Mike Pucci. Mm. Be glad about those Packers, but fuck them. Hmm. Chargers at the Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. The Swifties. Oh, this next one's going to be an interesting game. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm going to call that them. That is. Gonna I'm going to call them the Swifties over the Chargers. There you go. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a really good game. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm going to go with the fish. I'm going to go with the dolphins. I'm going dolphins. They're going to drown the eagles. It's only because you don't like Marky Mark. Marky Mark's a Patriots fan, dude. 
I know he's a Patriot fan, but he played a guy that played for the Eagles. Okay. Are you uneducated fuck? God damn it, do we hate you right now? Uh, I don't even feel bad for that. That was kind of that was kind of awesome. I mean, he comes in, he drops these little nuggets of information like he's Stephen A. Smith all of a sudden. Yeah. But he comes off sounding like a free retirement Lou Holtz. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> David, uh, Lou Holtz was an older sportscaster that uh, – was he, he at one time for a very long time was the head coach of Notre Dame for their football program. And then when he retired from coaching, went to CBS to do their college football program. And you could really tell he was aging rapidly there. I'm like, yeah. he came over the top of that hill and gravity just snatched his ass and just kind of <laughs> drug him down. And he went from speaking yeah, the down. semi-coherent sentences to – well, I mean, when he didn't go to Alabama, leave for free. <laughs> like, rest, rest in peace, Lou. My boy. It, 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 think of Boomhauer, but less in, intelligible. The geriatric. The geri, geriatric. The geriatric Boomhauer. Boom. Boom. Yes. There you go. Nailed it. But on me, no single man, boom, dang. Boom no butter scotch, man. Well, 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 where there's a red on me, ain't no dang. Dave Boomhauer is a character in uh, King of the Hill. Yep. Yep. Thank you, Chris. You're yes, thank you. Yep. You're very welcome. Mm-hmm. I'm here for mm-hmm. you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> May not be able to condition your mind, but or your body, but oh God, we're going to condition your mind. Okay. We're, we're going to die trying. Beat your meat, girl, Sergeant. Beat your meat. Um, <laughs> Niners at the Vikings. Niners. Niners. Yeah, that's a no contest right yeah, there. No brainer right there. But I will be happy to take the L on it. Yeah. Well, mm. good news for about yeah. six teams and six fan bases this coming week. Um, the Panthers cannot advance to zero and six. The Texans cannot get above or below five hundred. The Cowboys. Rest easy, Cowboy Nation. Dak Prescott, I'm going to call my shot now. Will not throw an interception next Sunday. Well, let's not be hasty. Nah, let's not give him that kind of hope. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> he might do like a charity event and a little kid just snatches the ball out of his hands. He could try to give somebody a beer from the fridge. And Yeah. 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 I mean, there's, there, yeah, he could toss the keys okay, up to him. All right. So, so let's, and, let's be. And instead of, instead of this failed attempt at optimism, let's uh, let's just put it this way: defenses. I mean, off, offensive lines around around the league next week take solace in the fact that Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence are not going to make you look stupid next week. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um. By the way, Houston is down to their last out. Let's watch it together, shall we? Okay. Do do sweet chariot. You're gonna see it. Oh, no. gonna... I'll strike. Okay. Ball. So three, three ball. Three oh, look at the spicy jalapenos up the bat. Come on, and you're zero and four, dude. You're over four. Like, really? Come on, man. I mean, if if the Rangers go up 3-0 in this series, it's it's fucking over. Oh yeah, nope, that's game ball there game ball game. Yes, two to nothing. Going home. You took home field advantage away from the Astros. Look man. at you, Ranger Nation. I'm just kind of saying, man. I mean. I mean, you got yourself a pretty decent uh, postseason run there. I mean, I would, it would, it would be terrible if 
Nelson Cruz came in there and just missed that last pop fly. I'm just <laughs> kind of put that out there. Really? I mean, that's, that's what you're going to do. You're going to step on my moment of triumph. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I pulled the David Freeze think- card. No, that's. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> <clears throat> Never did like you, none. <laughs> All right. But this shit so we're going to recap. Recap the picks for the week. All right, <clears throat> so here's what, here's what we're gonna do. All right, here, um, what we're gonna do. No, I can't get rid of that. Okay. <clears throat> Fucking choke right on screen, so I can laugh the entire time. I'm trying to George W. I mean, Chris did it last week. Next week, it's your turn, Chris. I mean, David. <coughs> okay. So we have the Jags over the Saints, the Lions over the Raiden, or Ravens, the Raidens. Oh, yeah. Good, good over here. Um, Lions over the Ravens, Raiders over the Bears. We have the Krilts over the Rings. <laughs> Bills over the Patriots. Redskins over the Giants. The Falcons over the Bucks. Rams over the Steelers. Seahawks over the Cardinals. Packers over the Donkeys. Swifties over the Chargers. Dolphins over the Eagles. And Niners over the Vikings. It's going to be a short abbreviated week next week, everybody, because why? Well, well, you know, you got six other teams that are going to sit there and go, well, we need the r- 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 rest. Good for you. All right. So, David, you have that in coming in three, two, one. All right. Now, um, programming note. Colin will not be with us this week because he is at a school function this evening. So. saddened heartbroken not really sure to if i can confidently with gusto announce which way is up it's a good thing we've got david here you know he's holding it together keeping the uh keeping the home fires burning keeping the bearings greased with what exactly we don't know it's just best we don't ask so before we start our nascar segment ladies and ladies and gentlemen boys girls angry faithful of all ages i implore you that if you have children under the age well if you have young children in the room shoo them away now because we are venturing into uh, uncharted territory here. We are going to uh, take over joke time. And uh, from past performances, that has never been a good thing. But we will can, we, we, we will stick with some 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 level of uh, normalcy. We will play we will play the intro uh, for for the joke time segment. So here we go. Went on wrong doing that, which has been set right. Here for your ears and eyes to feast upon. It is my genetic code. Ladies and gentlemen, angry faithful of all ages, it is time for joke time with Colin. What, David? What what are you snickering at? Are you looking for jokes? No. <laughs> what, what were you laughing at? <laughs> It was it was a picture of a chick and it was like ten thousand dollars. I was trying to put the stuff up and I accidentally hit the marking place and it just comes up with like this chick ten thousand dollars for this and I was like, not worth it. So Colin did take it upon himself to at least send me one of his jokes this week. <laughs> so <clears throat> what do you call a man with no arms, no legs? That's in front of your door. Matt. Yeah. Solid. Okay. solid. It, it's it's solid. Yeah, it's it's solid. <laughs> kind of like his torso. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to hell. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hell for a lot worse shit than that. Trust me. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
That's not even honorable mention. Are you kidding me? I just got a notification in the mail that I need to renew my CDL anyway. So no, we're good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to make sure you have the passenger endorsement because yeah, you're, right. you're escorting a lot of us. Well, I mean, where we're going, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, I mean, just those, I mean, as long as I know how to operate the air brakes, I think we're good. <laughs> I got you. Besides, it's a downhill. Like as long as the you know, even if there's an air leak, as long as it's enough to keep the the brake pressure up, you're fine. Right. Roll downhill. I mean, why don't vampires have any friends? <coughs> they're buying <sighs> Sometimes it just hurts. Yeah, that's. I will admit, I mean, doing this show is fun, but my dream job is to actually clean mirrors for a living. I can, I can really see myself doing that. <laughs> mm. I mean, for a subject that's a little bit closer to our, in, you know, near and dear to our hearts is, uh, why'd the coffee call the police? Why? He got mugged. <laughs> After I, I, did, I did order a chicken and an egg from Amazon. I'll let you know which one came first. There was a dishwasher on sale. But it was missing parts. She was just missing a leg. After an unsuccessful harvest, why did the farmer decide to try a career in music? Why? He had a ton of sick beats. That's solid. I like that. How do you get an astronaut's baby to sleep? How? Oh. You rock it. <laughs> Hmm. Which days are the strongest? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Do you know your pupils are the last part to stop working when you die? They dilate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of the uh, for the calendar. Its days that are numbered. <laughs> what do Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? Same mm -hmm. little thing. Of all the inventions of the last hundred years, the dry erase board has to be the most remarkable. That's solid. You almost had me on that one. <laughs> you almost had me on that one. <laughs> <clears throat> Who are the greenest presidents in U.S. history? I don't know. The bushes. Mm. What? The bushes. Okay. Singing in the shower is fun until you, you get soap in your mouth. Then it's a soap opera. My hotel tried to charge me $10 extra for air conditioning. That wasn't cool. <laughs> what did Sushi A say to Sushi B? What? Wasabi. <laughs> damn it. God. <laughs> Stupid. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Why do seagulls fly over the ocean? Why did what? Why do seagulls fly over the ocean? Mm. Because if they flew over the bay, they would be called bagels. If you heard about corduroy, uh, corduroy pillows, mm -mm. they're making headlines. If I ever find the doctor who screwed up my limb replacement surgery, I'll kill him with my bare hands. What did the zero say to the eight? 
Nice that belt. belt looks, yeah, the belt looks good on you. I saw the other day a, a baguette in a cage. It was bred in captivity. <laughs> this morning, Siri said to me, don't call me Shirley. I accidentally left my phone in airplane mode. Oh fuck! That one almost me. like I had to. I had to fight that one. <laughs> oh, fuck that that. Don't fight that, that one. That was that was a good one. Yeah. Almost got him on that one. What did the grape say when it was crushed? Nothing. Nothing. It just let out a little wine. <laughs> um, I asked my date to meet me at the gym, but she never showed up. I guess two of us just aren't going to work out. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Mm. You act like a nut. You know, you can't plant flowers if you don't, if you haven't bought any. Dad, can you put my shoes on? No, I don't think they could fit me. Ship carrying red paint and a ship carrying blue paint collide in the middle of the ocean. Both crews were marooned. I just burnt my Hawaiian pizza in the oven. I guess I should have put it on a on a low hot temp temperature. What kind of car does an egg drive? A Yolks wagon. Never date a tennis player. Love means nothing to them. What's the leading cause of uh, dry skin? Towels. I was just going to say that. <laughs> <coughs> What did Yoda say when he saw himself in 4K? What? HDMI. MI. Why did the Karen press control alt delete? Because she wanted to see the task manager. <laughs> what do you call a wizard who's really bad at football? football. That was solid. I'm solid. It used to be the soap, but I'm clean now. I asked my wife. Go ahead, sorry. I'm sorry. I asked my wife if I was the only one she slept with. She said yes. The others were sevens and eights. What do you call a dinosaur that asks a lot of deep questions? A velociraptor. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Uh... <laughs> what has two butts and kills people? An assassin. When two vegans get in an argument, is it still called a ve beef? I was in a job interview the other day, and they asked if I could perform under pressure. I said no, but I could probably do Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. I hate it when people say age is only a number. Age is clearly a word. <laughs> <laughs> I caught my son chewing on electrical cords, so I had to ground him. He's doing he's he's doing better currently and now conducting himself properly. 
I was excited to hear Apple might start selling its own cars until I learned that they wouldn't support Windows. Built a model of Mount Everest and my son asked, is it to scale? I replied, no, it's to look at. My friend couldn't pay his water bill, so I sent him a get well soon card. <laughs> that one almost cracks you. That one cracks you. Because <laughs> I'm just watching Johnny's face as we do these do these jokes, and you get a little bit. I mean, he has a really good poker face, but that one that one slapped him in the face a little bit, and he's like, "I could take it. I could take it." Did you know that the first French fries weren't cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Mm. I'm addicted to collecting vintage Beatles albums. I need help. It makes for a hard day tonight. <laughs> mm. Why wasn't the woman happy with the Velcro she bought? Because it was a total ripoff. If you're feeling depressed, try drinking a gallon of water before you go to sleep. It'll give you a reason to get out of bed in the morning. <clears throat> Do you know how many people are dead in that cemetery? All of them. Yeah. I built a model of Mount Everest, and my son asked if it was to scale. No, I said it's to look at. You know, I told that one like five minutes ago. <laughs> exactly five minutes ago, really. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm terrified of elevators. I'm taking steps to avoid them. When I was a kid, my mother told me I could be anyone I wanted to be. Turns out identity theft is a crime. I once made a pencil out of two erasers. <clears throat> my doctor told me I was going deaf. It was really hard to hear. Did you hear about the man that stole a calendar? He got 12 months. It's brown and sticky. Stick. Rick Ashley will let you borrow any movie from his Pixar collection, except one, because he's never going to give you up. Mm. <clears throat> I'm reading a horror story in Braille. Something bad is going to happen. I can just feel it. I once got fired from a uh, canned juice company. Apparently, I can't concentrate. I can sympathize with batteries. I'm not included with anything either. I used to play piano by ear, but now I use my hands. I once saw a one-handed man in a second-hand store. I told him, I don't think they have what you're looking for, sir. If you see a robbery at an Apple store, does that make you an eyewitness? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Just... I believe that my dad was stealing from his job as a traffic cop, but when I got home, all the signs were there. <clears throat> I 
Have you ever tried to catch a fog? I tried yesterday and I missed. Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? Say he made a mint. How many clickbait articles does it take to change a light bulb? The answer will shock you. Did you hear about the guy that invented the knock knock joke? He won the Nobel Prize. How do you make a waterbed bouncier? He had spring water. Who's bigger? Mrs. Bigger, Mr. Bigger, or their baby? It's their baby. He's a little bigger. I tried to start a professional hide and seek team, but it didn't work out. Turns out good players are hard to find. There were two peanuts walking down the street. One was assaulted. <clears throat> Women should not have children after 36. I mean, really, 36 children is enough. Woman is on trial for beating her husband to death with his guitar collection. So the judge asks her, first offender? She says, no, first a Gibson, then the fender. What happens when frogs park illegally? They get towed. Three-legged dog walks into the bar and asks the bartender, or, or tells the bartender, I'm looking for the man who shot my paw. Classic. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. it's a classic. I had an appointment to see my psychic next week, but she just called to cancel. She said I won't be able to make it. Mm -hmm. I'm so good at sleeping, I could do it with my eyes closed. I had a dream last night that I was a muffler. I woke up feeling exhausted. What do you call a belt made from watches? A waste of time. Swords will never go obsolete. They're cutting edge technology. <laughs> How do you tell the difference between a frog and a horny toad? Frog says ribbit, ribbit. Horny toad says rub it, rub it. Thirty percent of pet owners let their pets sleep in their bed. I tried it and my goldfish died. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Beethoven's favorite fruit. <laughs> Banana na na. <laughs> Banana na. <laughs> oh, man. What's a, ro what's a robot's favorite snack? Computer chips. What do you call a masturbating cow? Beef stroganoff. My dad was born a conjoined twin, but separated at birth. So I have an uncle once removed. That was solid. That was solid. Did you hear about the, the circus fire? Mm -hmm. It was intense. Why are piggy banks? Sorry. Why are piggy banks so wise? They're filled with common sense. My grief counselor died the other day. He was so good at his job, I don't even care. Don't trust Adams. They make up everything. Can February, March? No, but April, May. A 
I just read that someone in London gets stabbed every 52 seconds. That poor bastard. What's the best way to uh what's the best way to watch a fishing tournament live stream? <clears throat> I have how, was, how, how did how did Viking or how how did the Vikings communicate with one another by Norse code? <clears throat> I have a fish that can break dance, only for about ten seconds though, and he can only do it once. What did the fish say when it hit the wall? Damn. Kind of, what kind of shoes does a lazy person wear? Loafers. That tracks. <laughs> what do you call a penguin in the White House? Lost. <laughs> here's a, a more recent one how does the moon cut his hair he clips it what did the accountant say while auditioning for auditing a document this is taxing What do you call a Frenchman in sandals? Felipe Falape. I think that's enough, fellas. I gotta go get cigarettes. I'm like dying for a snow. What happens when a snowman throws a temper tantrum? Or what do you call it when a snowman has a temper tantrum? A meltdown. <laughs> when does okay. it become a dad joke? When, when it becomes a parent. parent. Yeah. Okay, and just like that, <laughs> this debacle. <laughs> Gone without regard for your moral well-being. Been witness to yet another traumatic episode of a genetic code assaulting your soul without consent. Ladies and gentlemen, Angry faithful of all ages. This has been joke time with a couple. I think those are solid intro and outros, man. They I they think- are. They are. Once you get once you're able to hear like the whole thing, uh turning it up was just the the whole thing. I mean, I I mean I'm like I'm ecstatic that I I created that. Like I did that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. So the Texas Motors. Oh, you know we didn't do the NASCARs. We're gonna run through it real quick. Kyle Larson won at Las Vegas. He moves on to the championship race. And uh, currently, the standings for the playoffs are the number one seed is uh, right now, according to points. Um, it's still William Byron by virtue of the number of points. Um, Kyle Larson has advanced um to to the uh to the round of four or to the championship four round um so right now um uh, William Byron is still uh there uh, Martin Truex Jr is still there so is Denny Hamlin um it might come down to a Hendrick versus Joe Gibbs uh Joe Gibbs Motorsports or Joe Gibbs Racing um championship race um okay hey. I'm, I'm ecstatic for that. The Texas Motor Speedway race for next year has been moved to April 14th. That is Colin's birthday, and I am trying to work out an, uh, an arrangement with uh, with uh, with his mom to uh, let me have him that weekend, uh, him and his brother, um, so we can uh, we can we can celebrate his birthday 
with him, angry me style at the at the racetrack if you guys are down. When is it? April 14th. Yeah, if we huh. make it happen, that'd be great. Yeah, if it's in April, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> so uh tickets haven't gone on sale yet. Uh so we we'll uh I'll try to get some of the legwork done on that and uh, I'll let you guys know how much tickets are and things of that nature. Um oh. I don't know if we want to sit that close to the fence this time around, uh, especially because, I mean, yeah, it's going to be in April and it's going to be a little bit cooler, but we'll still be exposed to the sun for a majority of the day. And I really don't want to repeat a lot of, of last month. So um, I stopped peeling from that sunburn on my arms. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, I'm in the car the other day and Mindy looks at my arms. She goes, your arms are kind of ashy. I'm like, I'm, I'm peeling from the race still. So I peeled yeah. on my hands, on the back of my hands. I peeled three times. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, uh, the dead skin, so you can get that baby, baby skin. Yeah, baby yeah. soft skin. Um, let What's me up? see something here. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna watch the Cowboys. I think, and uh, yeah, yeah she'll be starting here shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the Monday night broadcast just kicked off a few minutes ago. But uh, David. Mr. Producer, this week, again, bring us into land, please. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. I'm David Dickerman. I'm Johnny Skelton. And I am Chris Jacka. And this is Nerd Sports 130. Wow. 130. Ooh. Later. That's a lot of dick. <laughs>